Hi YouTube, welcome to the Emporium Outdoors. My name is Michael and Esme's with me today. So, today's video is going to be a two-day hunting, camping video. We are back in our little favourite territory and it is November, so it's big game season. The weather's been terrible up until this point. Over the weekend it's going to freeze to about minus 10. So that's good, but it's been wet. Uh, it's been warm earlier in the week, which is not great because uh, all this just tends to mush this time of year as it's frozen. So I'm back where the fallen tree was. I'm going to remove the tree, get it out of the way and uh, go on down the trail. Now I've got a bit more time, I'm not rushed. I've got two days, so it's worth the investment in getting this all cleared up. Have been some changes to my machine, which I'll show you. Yeah, so two days, really good. I normally only get one day out. So this is a big treat for me and Esme. And uh, I hope you join us. So if you'd like to come along, let's go. So it was a kind of upgrade as I was coming out on this trip. Changed out the box I was running in the back of my Can-Am. So I'll show you what I've done. I had two large plastic bins previously that stacked. Kind of one at the far back, one at the front. And it was just really problematic trying to get to all my stuff. It would be in one or the other. And then I had to have straps all over it. So it wasn't easy at the moment. I could just easily get into the back. And uh, let me show you. So what I did was just make up this plywood box and uh, cover the top with the same kind of waterproof canvas. And it's exactly 19 inches on this side. And that allows me to get my stove in there, my wood stove. I have my tent across the, the back here. And then inside here is all my stuff. And what I did was I put some magnetic latches on there. And then I can just stuff all my stuff inside. And I can get to any part of it. And with the high tech opening system, nothing can go wrong. Basically a stick. Um, so, the important thing is I can get to my axe and my saw really easily. And I've got everything else in there, all my camping equipment. That's really cool. Quite happy the way that worked out. There we go. It's got a bit of stiction so it won't fly up, but it's not too hard to lift. And I just flipped to my other camera so I can show you what I'm dealing with as far as my tripod right now. I seem to have lost my Manfrotto tripod that I normally use and I've used for years. It was a little beat up, but I think it must have fallen off the machine, unfortunately. So I'm dealing with this. It's kind of a Primus shooting stick and uh, another stick. That's going to make the videos a little bit harder to make this weekend, but I'm sure I'll manage it. Maybe I'll think more about where to put the cameras. I might be able to rig something up a little bit better. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, but for the moment, at least I've got the the bipod and a stick. Oh well. Okay, time to switch hats. Gloves. Let's move that tree. Okay, that's cut, but it's stuck to the ground, so we'll need to winch it. So I'm going to do it the easiest way possible. So I'm actually going to winch it to one side using a pulley. So let's do that. 
So here's my simple pulley and a strap. We're going to use this tree right here. So now that tree's out of the way, we've got to see if there's any more on this trail. I did sc scout ahead. I know for probably about 100 meters we're fine, so we'll see. We'll change the plan as we need to. So just as I'm going down the trail, I'm looking out for things like this, which are going to cause me a problem later on when the winter really comes. And uh, I just picked up a Pocket Boy, I think it's a 240XL, so that's the uh, very rough teeth. Actually it's a uh, Pocket Boy 170 with the uh, coarse teeth. And uh, I just pop out, take it down and that'll last at least, well, permanently, I guess, it's not gonna be in the way. But just maintaining the trails makes it better for everybody. So just nip over there and take that off. I think that'll do. Very handy saw. Come on. Up, up, up.
close the window. So we just stopped to uh, get a bite to eat, but we're making pretty good progress. That was the third tree that I've just cut down, but this one I decided to buck up. That's me found something uh, to buck up because it's pretty dry wood and uh, cutting it anyway. So why not buck it while it's in situ? Uh, that'll give us a big head start when we get to camp. Uh, the going's actually pretty good. Um, it's been probably four years since I've been down this route. I don't think anyone else goes this way either. Some of these trees have been here a while, you can tell. So we have the whole forest to ourselves. Just beautiful. <sighs> I know this comes out at a road at the end and that's where I want to get to. I'm kind of looking for nice camping spots back inside, uh, but we'll just have to see how it looks at the far end because I think I can get to another place but we'll see it's all movable right now anyway let's gonna get this wood stacked that's me So I was just looking down the track, I can see there's a big drag line, which is something I always tend to look out for. And uh, cause it means something's under your machine getting dragged along. Yeah, if you're going through pretty rough terrain, it's always worth stopping every half a kilometer, a kilometer, whatever you feel comfortable with, and just check your machine. A number of times I've had uh, big sticks or whatever lodged underneath. Luckily this one didn't do any harm because the CV boots and everything are actually quite well protected on this machine. Uh, but it is something to bear in mind. Anyway, onwards. Oh well, we were doing so fine. Managed to hit this little creek that wasn't quite frozen up. I didn't want to dig a big hole, so I just plopped in and we're going to winch out. Luckily, there's trees right here. So let's get that going.
there's quite a few timbers here. Maybe you ought to uh, maybe split them, put them in, make a little bridge on the way back. Okay, let's keep going. So that's really good news. We actually made it all the way through the trail behind me. So we actually came to the road here. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm going to follow it and see if it meets up with another road that I know that goes back to my really far back campsite so I can join those two things together. So I was lucky I was using my GPS product. Uh, I bought this a few months ago. This is the Garmin InReach Mini. It's a satellite communicator as well as a GPS device. And uh, I actually got this part of my safety equipment. I was going off into deeper places with no cell coverage and uh, I felt this was a must. So I have a subscription with this and I can send updates to my family, etc. Uh, so this is excellent. Also, it has the SOS. So I do get into severe problems. I can just pull out this rubber thing, hit the button and they'll communicate to me about a rescue if I get seriously stuck. I actually got this more in case I come across someone that's in a bad situation and they need to be medivaced. So, um, yeah, it's part of my new safety uh, equipment and uh, helps me find my way around too. So it's actually fantastic. Okay, I think we're going to go up here and find a nice spot to camp. So I've just taken a little detour just to show you the little washed out bridge uh, he was talking about in the last video. Uh, so there's a little beaver pond and uh, this is what I had to drive across. So you can see this is uh, not set yet. Now this used to be kind of a bridge. What I did was I just stacked a couple of these long beams. like this and uh but under here is nothing but if you uh, see how deep that is it's pretty deep if you slip off those these logs uh these planks sorry so yeah that's what i had to cross last time didn't actually realize it was that deep So this is why I couldn't come back the same way. I took a risk getting across here. That should be nice to uh, grab one of those. Oop. Yeah, it'd be nice to grab one of these and fix my little hole for the way back. Actually some long... Yeah, I might have to see about that. Maybe I'll have to get a rope around one of these. Yeah, but that's basically what was stopping me get across. This will be fine once it's frozen. Um, but when I went across it, it was free flowing and, uh, not great. Looks like the beavers have been busy. No, as don't go in there. Starting to lose my logs. Have to fix that. Well, we're only about five kilometers away from our camp now, so we should be there within uh, 20 minutes. Uh, the sun, I think, is up there. 
So we've probably got two hours of daylight, which is perfect. Accept the tent and uh, split these logs and we can get a nice fire going. So we've arrived at our little camp spot. Uh, behind you is where I normally hammock camp. And uh, this has always been a really nice spot just next door. So it looks pretty flat. And it wasn't marshy as I recall, so I think we should be good. Uh, we could also move it over there, I suppose. But I love this part of the forest because it's an older part. And there is kind of mixed, uh, so there's spruce, there's pine, uh, there's poplar just over the other side. Uh, so it's a really nice place. I love the, the pine needles, the smell of them. And some birch as well. So that's great. I did pick up some birch from earlier. And a whole wad of it, so that's good. So next job is going to get the tent set up and the stove. Uh, I'm just going to whiz through it. You've seen it a couple of times. If you want to go watch me set up a tent again, then I can link you somewhere up here. Uh, one of the videos where I show you setting it up. But So I have the Cabela's wide bottom ice fishing tent with me today. Uh, I thought that was a better option because I know there's only going to be one of me. It's quick and easy to set up and I wasn't sure whether I'd be moving between places. So I, I took the easy option. Um, I love the snow trekker, uh, but for me this is actually simpler and quicker and that's why I chose it. So we have the tent up, the cot up, the inflated mat, the stove, I think we're ready to move in. Once the sleeping bag goes on top, then uh, Esme will be right up there. So let's take a look. We're losing the light pretty quickly, but that's okay. So there's the uh, stove pipe. It's a little bit dark. So hopefully you can see that. Okay, this hopefully should help. So we have the stove, we have the cot set up, I've just got to set up my chair, etc. But I think we're all set. Got the windows open. So that's good. I've got the skylights open too. You ready to try your bed as me? Come try, come on. Come on, up, up. Go see. Come on, go see. Where's your bed? Up, up. Good girl. Ah, oh, she's happy now. Good girl. Next job, I'm gonna split that wood, set my chair. Uh, I think we're good. It's not too cold right now. It's about minus two, minus three. So it's not too bad. It should go down to about minus ten tonight. So the stove will be welcome. Uh, but yeah, looking good. Looks like I need to charge up my Osmo action. So I'm going to go out and split that wood uh, quickly. Stack up enough for tonight. I can leave the rest for tomorrow. Got all day tomorrow. 
and uh, I'll bring you back when we're about to light the stove. So I think that's plenty of wood for tonight. It's a whole bundle. I'll probably not even go through all of this because it's not that cold. Plus I've got all this for tomorrow. And if I get bored tonight, I can drag a couple of these in and split them up for the morning. I just need to go get my tinder, which is my next job. So we had a pretty good sleep last night. It was uh, very pleasant, not too cold. Uh, it did snow all night. We've had um, probably about two inches of snow. And we've got the stew on, my beef stew. Uh, I don't think there's gonna be anything moving around today. It's too, uh, too wintry and snowy. Uh, we'll just show you outside in a second. But yeah, got the stove on, got the, uh, the stew going. So that'd be good. And uh, I'm going to go out there and split up the rest of that wood. That's my job for today. <laughs> There's my uh, beef stew. It's got the garlic in there and the uh, beef. So that'll be an all day thing. A bit of snow. Yeah. Tent's doing good. Ready to get to splitting these rounds.
Yeah, so that's how we're looking this morning. It's a bit overcast. But it looks pretty nice, a slight breeze. Now start the machine up. Hopefully we won't have any problems. It's minus 10. good no problems we did take it out for a run yesterday but uh, that'll heat up nicely okay so we're gonna get some breakfast let the machine warm up and start packing away our gear So we have everything removed from the tent. It's just a simple matter of putting the tent in the bag and then we're pretty much good to go. So it wasn't too bad at all. I think the equipment I have now is actually probably one of the most efficient ways to set up. It is quite quick, and especially with the, uh, the ice fishing tent. All right, let's do it. Done. That bag needs to be slightly bigger. It's when it's uh, got ice on it, thickens up somewhat. Oh, beautiful morning. I think it's probably still around minus 10. gonna have a quick look around make sure I haven't left anything so we stacked the wood ready for next trip so we actually didn't I think we probably just used over half I dumped out the coals in this little fire pit that I use and they're all going out I'll just make sure that's covered with snow before I leave and sesame doodle but yeah we got quite a bit more snow than when we came in but nothing that the uh, can-am can't handle I think I'm gonna pick up those planks on the way out help me get through that sticky spot but yeah beautiful day Although a little bit overcast, but I can see some blue coming out. Uh, so this is where I'm expecting to have a bit of trouble. This uh, stream is still flowing. Careful, guys. Yeah, I see one even hold Esme's weight. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do... A beautiful tree. Oh, it's a woodpecker. What I'm going to do is just pull out my winch and get ready for a winching session, I think. We'll see. Uh, 
Oh, that went really well. Must have firmed up just enough to get through it, so it wasn't a problem at all. That's great. Yeah, the winch is definitely the uh, number one item to have on a UTV or an ATV. Looks like something's been down here too. It's like a wolf track. Probably this morning or last night maybe. Oh, this is a beautiful spot here. It's old forest, so it has a mixture of birch, pine, spruce, all different sizes. Yeah, it's very nice. Let's make a nice camp spot too. You ready, ESV? Let's go in. Okay, let's keep moving. I don't think we should hit any other problems, hopefully. So we were all back at the track, all loaded up on the trailer. Uh, it was a nice journey back actually, very pleasant. It was a nice two days camping. So, very enjoyable. No animals though, but that's, that's okay with me. It's more about just being out here. So, it was good fun. And there's Esme. So until next time, take care. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.